Dr. Sears, when we talk ketogenic diets, it's always a very hot topic. Uh, we always get a lot of conversation and uh, chatter, um, but there's a recent study that came out that I know you wanted to talk to, so I will give the floor to you. Well, uh, why don't we follow a defined diet to basically live longer and live better? And we know the underlying cause that prevents that is the development of senescent cells. These are aging cells, also known as zombie cells. And as these zombie cells develop, you age at a faster rate. So a recent study came out looking very carefully at the effect of a ketogenic diet on the generation of zombie cells. And what do they find? If you follow a ketogenic diet, the zombie cells begin to grow. What does so that mean? <laughs> You're aging faster. Say, no, it can't be. It can't be. Say, that's the science. Then they also then basically changed the diet from a ketogenic diet to a non-ketogenic diet. Oh, kind of like the zone diet. And what happens? The zombie cells disappeared. They went back to the ketogenic diet. They reappeared. They went back to a, a non-ketogenic diet. They disappeared. Now, if we know that zombie cells, these senescent cells, are the underlying cause of the development of chronic disease, and they accelerate the aging process, what does this say to you? Not good. Well, not good if you're following a ketogenic diet. <laughs> not good at all. <laughs> and so, so the benefits of you know a, a, a good diet is one is the least number of calories with the maximum number of nutrients. One of the problems with a ketogenic diet is two really key nutrients we have to have. Polyphenols and fiber are totally deficient. They've been ranked, uh, taken out of the diet completely. And so without those two, our metabolism takes a hit. And when the metabolism is not working very well, now the opportunity for those senescent cells to grow and multiply is greatly enhanced. So, so again, me... going back to say, if we want a good diet, make sure it's a balanced diet. You need some protein, but not too much. You need some carbohydrates, but not too much. You need some fat, but not too much. They say, well, but uh, that sounds boring. It's boring, but may, it's going to make you live longer and live better. So not to play devil's advocate here, but one of the things we've talked about a lot is that if you restrict calories, that helps with anti-aging. So if someone's like, hey, I'm following a ketogenic diet, I'm restricting calories, you know, any carbs I am consuming, I'll bet low, you know, I'm doing veggies. What would you say? Well, it's probably no longer a ketogenic diet. <laughs> so, <laughs> All right. <laughs> so so, so it, there's a fine line. You know, when you say to get a ketogenic diet, you have to be devoid of virtually almost all carbohydrates, very low levels. And therefore, even if I'm eating non-starchy vegetables, there simply just isn't enough polyphenols or fermentable fiber to do the job it's supposed to do. So here's a good rule of thumb. If you're following a ketogenic diet and reducing uh, your calorie intake, then think about this. Cut back some of the fat and add some more vegetables. Right. Okay. All of a sudden, you've gone from a ketogenic diet to a zone diet. and But we studied this. This is a published paper you and I published back in 2007. That's a long time ago. Long time ago. Where we took basically individuals who were overweight and treated them like lab rats. Mm -hmm. Half were put on the zone diet, and basically we controlled all the food they ate. They had no choices. The other group had the same amount of protein as a zone diet, but they had lower amounts of carbohydrates and higher amounts of fat. And again, all their food was controlled. And after six weeks, you saw the differences. One, those on the zone diet, they basically have lost more weight. Those on the zone diet lost more fat. Those on the zone diet had no a calcium loss. Their bones were not dissolving. Uh, those in the zone diet had more uh, energy after exercise. Mm -hmm. Now, Let's give the, the ketogenic diet its due. It did do one thing superior to the zone diet. It increased inflammation. Oops. <laughs> so, so this is a very well-controlled study, very elegant study. It says, be careful what you wish for. If you want to follow a ketogenic diet for the rest of your life, then you're going to be looking at give, you know, increasing the breeding of these senescent cells, these zombie cells. They're going to make your life miserable in the future. Mm -hmm. Simple problem, say, yes, I want to restrict calories, so add a little more carbohydrate, cut back some of the fat, 
and keep the protein uh, at the same level. And all of a sudden, you've gone from a ketogenic diet to a non-ketogenic zone diet. And the benefits, you live longer and you live better.